Today, we're gonna be finding some sharks and other sea creatures living in and around this amazing tide pool. This place has a ton of life all around it, inside of it. Even in January, when the fish aren't as thick, there's still life here. Just wait till we come back in the summer. We found eels here, crazy schooling fish, some big snook, tarpon, giant barracuda, hammerhead sharks, everything in the ocean hangs around this spot because little fish equal big fish and big fish equal monster fish. So let's jump right into the video and see what we can find around this tide pool. The coolest fish that I think I've ever caught from the beach, besides a big snook. Look at that right there. This is a baby Spanish mackerel. This is a fierce predator here in the wintertime. And they flood down the coast, heading south to find warmer water. And let me tell you what, when these guys get bigger, they have some serious, serious teeth. They're really, really pretty, super shiny, super fast, as you guys can tell from the tail right there. This guy still has a lot of spunk. He's kind of in the Wahoo family, a bit in the Kingfish family, but look at that face right there. He is ready to take somebody's finger off. That is an awesome fish. Too bad he's too small to go into the pond, but you know what? Still an awesome fish to show you guys. Guys, Jack is on a nurse shark right now. He just saw it. I flew the drone up, and this thing is pretty good size. That is keeper size, to be honest with you guys. That is keeper size. He's using a nice big mullet to try to catch this nurse shark, and he is, this guy, is cruising right towards it. I think he ate it. Jack, he ate it, he ate it. Oh, the wave, the wave. You guys can see the wave just came right over the shark. I, did, I do not know where it is right now. I did not see the eat. He's coming back for it. He's coming back for it. I think, I think he got it. Let's go. That thing is huge. That's a big boy. Oh, I think it came off, guys. I think, it, I think he took the bait off of Jack's rock. That thing is a beautiful nerf shark. Look at him cruising that crystal clear water. That's insane, he looks so good. Guys, the new drone is like 10 out of 10. This is nuts, bro. Like this quality of footage is insanity right now. That is one of the coolest shots I've ever gotten of a nurse shark. Wow, beautiful, beautiful nurse shark. That's insane. Let's hope we can try to get him again though. He ate the bait twice, as you guys can see from the footage. First time he spit it out, second time he ate it really good. I let him eat it, set the hook. And the hook just pulled. I'm gonna throw another shrimp at him. Guys, look at the nurse shark right next to these four giant snook. They just swam right up to him. That's insane. The snook are bigger than him. All right, so this, this thing might not be giant because those snook were literally bigger, if not the same size as this nurse shark. That was so sick. We're still trying to catch this guy. We have some live bait for the snook all around this beach. I saw a bunch of little live baits that we can catch. But right now, we're trying to get that shark to come eat our bait. Yes, got him. There we go. What do we got here? Skipping over the rocks. Whoa! That's a mega. That's a big snapper. Big mangrove snapper, gray snapper, however you want to call it. These guys only have to be 12 inches to keep. This one is every bit of 14. I mean, they only got to be 10 inches to keep. He's definitely 14 inches. Let's see. Look at him snap. Now you guys can see why he gets the snapper name. Is that a mangrove? It's a mangrove. It's a pretty mangrove, dude. It's like pink right it's here. It's a hoss. That's, That's a, a big, big one. boy. We're gonna turn this thing into bait if nothing eats or it. Or a fish sandwich. He's gonna turn into a fish sandwich. I would love a fish Let's sandwich. Let's go, baby. I'm really, really starting to put together a good dinner here. This one definitely is on the cusp of being legal. Do you think that's 10 inches? I don't know, but this rock is literally so loaded with life, it's ridiculous. There's tons of these guys down there. I think, you know, typically I have the rule of thumb, if I have to measure the fish, it's gotta go back home. Well, that's a beautiful snapper there. We already got one for dinner, this guy, it's his lucky day. He's get to see another day. See you later, buddy. Oh, shit. Rook. Look at this guy. That thing is sick. First tide pool creature. And he's in the open. Look at that. That is so dope. Look at that. What is it? Clear. Crystal clear. Oh, my God. How'd you even see that? That is sick, dude. Oh. Look at him cruising. Hi, little buddy. That's so cool, That bro. is so cool. He's literally just grazing the bottom. He's probably eating up on all this algae here. He's got a little butt, bunch of snail buddies inside here. And then as I was walking in some other ones, I saw a bunch of little tiny fish, like little like goby looking things. Tons of little fish around here. This is a cool find though, a horseshoe crab right Look in the top. Look at that. Pool. 
Such a cool species, dude. These guys are super damn cool. I've always wondered, is that the eye right there? Is that right there? I think that is the eye. Look at that. These guys get so damn big. About the size of a basketball. Imagine that. This guy was just sitting here in about three hours. He'd be back on his merry way. He got unlucky. This guy's probably looking for some sand to bury in. That's what he's doing. Look at this. Watch. He's going to go look for sand. Hate to break it to you, buddy. You got none in here. Okay? A big reason why we love coming to this tide pool spot is because you get three amazing things. You get the tide pool with all the little creatures inside. You get to fly the drone and see some amazing things that you would never see if you didn't have it. Like sharks, manatees, all big stuff out here. And number three, you get to catch some awesome stuff. Like that giant barracuda we caught, some snook, sharks. So you're getting the trifecta. We already found some creatures in the tide pools. I'm going to look a little bit more in here to see if we can find some smaller stuff. Then we go for the bigger stuff. Let's see what else we can find. Look right here, you guys. We have a native coral banded shrimp here. These are some of the coolest fish that we find lurking inside of the tide pools. One, because of their color. Most of the fish we do find, a lot of them blend in, but this one right here has that red that pops. He's not very fast, as you guys can see. He's got all his claws, but Brooke, pan over to the right. You see that bird? That bird right there would have been very happy if he found this coral banded shrimp before I did. As you can see, he's walking the tide pools, looking for little tiny shrimp, just like this guy right here. But it's this guy's lucky day, because uh, he ain't gonna be eaten by, what'd we name that thing? Eddie. Ed, Ed the bird. Your lucky day, buddy, it's your lucky day. We got eyes again on the big shark. Chris has the bird in the sky, and he's about a half a mile that way, but luckily, Chris and I discovered the walkie-talkie Apple Watch. Here we go. Chris, do you copy? Over. Copy, over. You guys hear that? Now listen, little practice here, showing the fellow fish guys all across the world how we do things on the Apple Watch. Give me a little call out, over. Shark's right in front of you to your 12 o'clock, over. Copy that, over and now, about to go into the mission, over. Good luck, soldier. All right, ladies and gentlemen, shark is right here. Let's go get him. Now, as I'm flying the drone, I'm staying on top of this nurse shark. And you can see Jack's bait every so often in these clips when he throws it out. The nurse shark was actually making a beeline right south. He was going dead south. But as soon as Jack throws that bait in the water, you can tell he really, really wants it. He's smelling all that bait. He turns right around and starts circling the area because he knows there's some smell in the water. So it's really crazy to see in action some wildlife right here how the sharks when they get a scent they just start circling so jack's bait as soon as he smelt it the, the shark turned around starts making big sweeping circles using that big smelly nose of his to try to find that bait now if jack just throws it out and leaves it out there that's when we're going to catch the shark when he just leaves it sitting out there so the shark could actually find it himself let's see if we can get this beautiful shark on the beach Drop a like right now on the video if you guys want us to come back and try and catch that nurse shark. Right now, the wind and the waves have picked up drastically to the point where I can't even sink my bait down to where the nurse shark is living and hunting. You guys can see from the footage, he was super interested in trying to find the bait. Once he would have found it, he would have sucked it down. It's 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 inevitable. He, that's what he's that's what his job is. Okay, he's a bottom dweller, and that's what he wants. So drop a like on this video if you guys want us to come back when it's flat calm and we'll make it happen. Before we go, be sure to go check out shopfishguide.com. Get yourself something nice. We're here at the beautiful beach and we're cleaning up trash as we walk back. Every item still removes trash from the ocean and we'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out.